coming into the Oak Bottom Marina. This is the main marina on the lake, other than Brandy Creek. This is where my boat used to be moored till the fire. That's the launch ramp there, which that's where I'm catching the shuttle to go over and visit my boat, but the public's not allowed to launch there. It's closed other than for the shuttle. There's one of the shuttle boats there waiting for somebody to come and get a ride over to Brandy Creek. That boat you see up there is one of the salvage boats. There's a bunch of tanks on it. You'll see that's for the divers. They've got boats sunk all over the lake. They lost 42 boats and they're on the bottom of the lake scattered all over the lake. Some of them clear down at the dam. Right on the other side of that is the Oak Bottom Marina where my boat was. You can see it burned pretty severely through here. I asked them if they lost any of the boats that were out there on buoys and they said yes, they lost several of them. I guess the embers blew over and caught them on fire even though they were out in the middle of the lake. And that's the actual marina where my boat was. As you can see, this, this dock here, which is where they kept their rental boats, didn't suffer too severely, but you can see some of them went in the water. They did burn. They melted. The styrofoam burnt. And those, those folks there are, are damaged. I don't know if I can zoom in far enough for you to see this boat or not. That patio boat there is burnt to a crisp. Pretty ugly out here, but it'll come back. I just did a tour over half of the lake, and I think most of the oak trees will come back, and quite a few of the pine trees will come back, and of course the manzanita will come back. It always does. Can't kill that stuff. But way over there, I don't know whether I can zoom in that far or not, but those docks over there is where my boat was until it got moved. Thankfully it got moved or it would have been burnt to a crisp. north side of the lake took the biggest hit. Um, just about everything from the lake north to miles and miles is just devastated. The islands here in the middle of the lake are still in touch. They're fine. So if they ever allow us to come back on the lake, we have plenty of places to beach and hang out and have a good time. And the south side of the lake is not nearly as bad. The oaks will probably all survive. Some of the pine, most of the pine trees will survive. And of course, all the manzanita will come back. So it'll, it's, it's doable. Once, once they let us back on the lake, it's doable. Here comes the shuttle boat coming back from Brandy Creek. That's where I'm headed. And as soon as I dock, one of these guys will come and get me and take me back to my car. Brandy Creek is relatively undamaged. I guess they have no power and water or sewer right now, so they can't open it and the road is not safe on the way in. But Brandy Creek and the marina basically escaped pretty much unscathed. None of the boats got damaged. None of the facilities here got damaged. But there was some fire. I mean it did come here but not not down to the water like it did on the other side of the lake.